Hello and welcome to this Blender quick tips tutorial on modeling hood vents on a car. I'm going to be adding a couple of vents to this hood of this McLaren concept I've created. So I'm going to select the bonnet, press slash to go into local view. Now I'd recommend modeling the hood without any vents in, just a smooth clean topology. And you'll see why we need that later. So the first thing I'm going to do is shift D to duplicate the hood and right click to leave it in place. On the original hood, I'm going to just hide that. We don't need that currently. I'm going to press 7 to go into top view and tab into edit mode. The first vent I'd like to add is just one down this crease. So I'm going to press 3 on the number row to go into face select mode and just select these three faces, X, and delete them. And then I'm going to alt click the loop and E and Z to extrude that down. And then going to alt click that side and that side. So we've just got these eight vertices selected around the top. I'm then going to control B to bevel. And you want to make sure it's set to three. If yours is two, just scroll up on your mouse to set it to three. This will give us our edge loops around the hole that we want. Now if I tab back into object mode, that's given us a weird oval, so we need to add edge loops. So I'm just going to control R and quickly throw these in. And that gives us a pretty good looking vent. Uh, you can see though we've already run into the problems that those edge loops are starting to crease across the hood. Uh, so we'll fix that shortly. The next vent I want to add is in this face. So again I'm going to press 3 on my number row to go into face select select that face X and delete and then one to go back into vertex selector mode. I'm going to quickly select those two vertices Alt Z into X-ray and just quickly throw these into the rough shape of a vent. You can obviously spend more time getting these perfect and I'm going to select these four vertices F to fill that face and these four to F to fill that face. going to roughly line these up so these edges are parallel and this edge is parallel it looks pretty good to me I'm going to alt click that loop and 3 into side view and we're all out of shape so G and Z just move these down select those G and Z and move these down as well that gives us the basic shape of the vent that we want but again we're going to have to add edge loops to sharpen the edges we want like the vent we did just, I'm going to select those four around the top, control B to bevel and click. That gives us our edge loop which sharpens the top without adding all the unnecessary edge loops across the rest of the hood. I'm then going to quickly throw an edge loop here and here to tighten those edges. I'm also going to throw one in uh, across here. The last one I'm going to add is one up here and one there. Which gives us the basic shape of our vent that we want. But you can see we're getting this nasty crease across here from those edge loops we added and we're getting a few creases going up. So now we need to fix that. So in the modifier tab, add a modifier and add a shrink wrap. I'm leaving this at the bottom of my stack but below my modify and subdivision. For the target, select the eye drop and select the original hood that you created without any vents in it. That will move and shrink all the vertices to that hood, which is obviously not what we want for the vents. So to get around that, tab into edit mode, A to select all the vertices and then in object data properties, add a vertex group and assign them all. Then need to zoom in on the vent. I'm going to select these vertices and these. And for this one, the bottom and the first row, the bevel. And I'm going to remove those vertices from the group. Now if I tab back into object mode, the, the hood still looks the same. So go back to your modifier panel. And on the shrink wrap modifier, vertex group, select group. Now it only shrinks wrap all the ones but the extra ones we added for the vents are not 
if your model has this effect where you've got this weird lip. Uh, that's due to, if I can get it looking, the fact that these vertices are not being shrunk wrap, but these are, and these are getting pulled down to where you can see the actual face. So it's causing this weird lip. The easy way to fix that is on your shrink wrap modifier, select it, duplicate it, and on your shrink wrap 001, just click and apply. There we go, we're looking good. If we go to material preview, you can see we're looking good. We've got smooth reflections even with events in the hood. And if I turn off the display of the shrink modifier, you can see what the hood would look like without it. Again, that crease is really visible. So let's have a good shot of it like that uh, with the shrink wrap on and it just disappears and that's the easy way to add hood vents to your car i hope you found this useful